Maps I find delightful. The most common dream in every country. Ooh, enhance, enhance. All right, let's play Have I Had This Dream and Have You Had This Dream. Canada and USA, teeth falling out. Yes, that's probably my most common nightmare, probably at least once a month. Teeth falling out continues in UK, Ireland, Sweden, Norway, Poland, Spain as well. That's so interesting. I would love to know the logic behind this. Another common nightmare is snakes in Russia, Finland, Romania, and Portugal as well. Pregnancy for Germany? in Belarus and Denmark? I really want to know culturally why this is. South America, people seem to be dreaming about animals a lot. And then over in Africa, the snake theme continues. I have had nightmares about snakes, but not very often. Niger, death, and then sex in Nigeria. I have yeah. <laughs> this is so interesting. Look at the snakes continuing into Asia. All right, Australia, back to teeth falling out. So there is a link, UK, US, Australia, culturally, they're quite similar. And we're all dreaming about our teeth falling out. Oh, I haven't looked at Middle East yet. And Hans said Hans, we're back to snakes again. Who's dreaming about breast? <laughs> Just the one though. <laughs> Okay, I think this could be the coolest map I've looked at in this series. Territories of the Roman Empire by the approximate number of years in the empire. Oh, all right. So you'd go into this thinking Italy would have the longest years, but it's actually Greece at 1,550 years. And then some areas of Turkey as well, which I didn't really know about. You can see that the Romans controlled this portion of Scotland for less than 50 years. And that theme continues along all of the kind of outer borders. They didn't really hold Northern Africa for very long either. But a lot of this Greek-Italian area, well over a thousand years. Which back then from a civilization point of view, that's a long time. My hand-drawn map of different types of urbanization. All right, we'll start with British. So this is what a lot of our towns look like from a street perspective. An American, very, very straight lines. Yeah. Europeans like a concentrated version of British. Indian, I've not really ever seen before. French, lots of diagonals. And Chinese, very packed in with sort of smaller sub-streets within the main ones, apparently. Israeli troops encircle Gaza City. Really horrible stuff happening over there at the minute. Thousands of deaths from innocent people on both sides, which is really sad. Age at which most residents of each US state are homeowners. Okay, there's two slides, but the first page shows 1980 and 2000. So you can see generally back in 1980, people owned their own home by the age of about 27. Whereas by the year 2000, that crept up to 30 to 32. And now 2021, it's gone up even more. In states like California, it's 49 years old. But for the majority of the US, it's like 33 to 35. Yeah, I think it's even even worse in the UK. We really need some government intervention because the only way people are able to get houses these days is if their grand dies and then they inherit some money for a deposit, which is not the sign of a healthy system. Now the world according to Google Street View, a lot of the world now having coverage. Is this area in Europe Belarus? Let's double check. Yes, Belarus, no coverage. Any photospheres? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yeah, we got we got Minsk. Okay, well, it looks all right. Everyone seems to be having quite a nice time. There's a burger van or something. Can, oh, I can move around. So there is actually some coverage, but it's just just very limited. Yeah, I now can't move at all. Minsk looks very nice, but it is very quiet. Fonts that each state uses in their tourism board logos. Oh, go on. We'll do a little enhance. Oh, well, this is nice. Let's pick which one we like the best. And let's pick the worst as well. I mean, they all just kind of look all right, don't they? Nothing's blowing me away. Nothing's making me go, ugh. Although Louisiana, I'm maybe not so sure about. Reminds me of that Microsoft font that you'd use at school when you wanted things to be a bit wacky. Utah, actually, at first, you think I think that's an L with an I joined up to it, but maybe that's just me. Everything else is all right. New York could have made a bit of an effort. Where Americans live in England. Ooh, all right. What's going on here? Where is that? Is that like Kent area? All right, so the blue spot is Lakenheath, and apparently the reason is it's an RAF base. The country of origin of the most popular car, Japan absolutely dominating. Their car industry really has a hold over Europe. Germany are obviously known for making cars, so you can see they dominate that little area, and Russia are controlling their own country but nowhere else, which does not really surprise me. Height of the leaders. Oh, all right. Firstly, let's work out how tall I am in centimeters. Oh my God, I'm ginormous. I'm 182.88. So I'm quite a bit taller than my own prime minister, but Spain, Belarus, Poland, Turkey, Greece, and Bulgaria. Whoa, who's 200? Albania is a giant. Oh my God, he actually <laughs> looks like a giant when he's next to Rishi Sunak. It's like Gandalf and Frodo. Oh, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shows Italy and she's also female who are generally a bit shorter. The minimalist map. I mean, yeah. 
I guess that works. It's, it's a bit off scale. I feel the Mediterranean looks way too big when you compare it to like North and South America. But you can see where everywhere's meant to be. I mean, a lot of places like New Zealand and Madagascar have no representation at all, but I guess it is minimalist. Central America and the Caribbean is just completely non-existent now. So overall, it's not great. Poverty reduction in India. So in 2015 to 2016, it was 24% of the country in poverty, which is very sad. Whereas now 2019 to 2021, it's down to 14.9%, which is actually a pretty significant reduction. It's still a lot of people, of course, but that is some pretty amazing progress in five years. Faithlessness in the United Kingdom. This map shows the percentage of the people who identify as atheist or non-religious, and it is pretty high. What this shows is basically overall, half of the people are not religious. Scotland's got the highest faithlessness at 54%, and Greater London has the lowest at 28%, which I assume is kind of maybe immigration related. London's obviously very multicultural. It's also quite a bit lower in Northern Ireland, which I am guessing is because there'll be a lot of Catholics still kicking about. Current world champions in men's sports. All right, so football, Argentina. For cricket, it's Australia. Rugby, South Africa. I had no idea rugby was popular in South Africa. It's interesting that USA currently don't have anything, particularly basketball, which apparently is Germany, shared with field hockey. USA also not currently the leaders in baseball, but Canada does have ice hockey, which is what you would guess. Meaning of country Country names in South America. This is always really interesting. So Argentina is named after silver because the people that found it thought that there was lots of silver in the ground. Uruguay apparently means bird river. Brazil means trees that produce red like ember. These are so weird. I know that Venezuela is named after Venice because when the European settlers found it, there was lots of people living on houses that were on water, just like Venice in Italy. Who the hell's Simon Bolivia? Oh, Chile apparently means where the land ends, which is kind of cool because on a map, there's nothing else to the left. Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Denmark looking very cool there. It looks even cooler when you get enhancing. Oh, look at that topography. Mwah, mwah, mwah. If the sea level in America rose to 500 meters. Okay, so at one meter, we're not seeing too much of a difference. I'm reckoning that Florida is going to be first to go. Three meters. Oh, there we go. Five meters. You can see Florida down here is disappearing before our very eyes. Is anywhere else going? 15 meters right now, which is pretty significant. Is that the Mississippi River that is kind of just very, very rapidly disappearing. Florida is completely gone now at 50 meters. Uh, we can also see that California has got a big, massive hole in it. Surely at 500 meters, the whole place will be basically submerged other than maybe this little area around here. 120 meters now, a lot of the country is gone. This is crazy. 160 meters, 170 meters. Oh my God, the USA is gonna get ripped apart. Look at that. It now no longer connects. We've created an island around Kentucky, etc. 200 meters, 300 meters now. Oh my god, yeah. So it seems like the entire east is just gonna disappear and it looks like this area, as expected, is gonna stay standing for a while. Oh, so actually a lot of the west is far, far higher and doesn't really seem to get impacted. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen. Flag map of the Muslim majority countries. Well, that's pretty, isn't it? Bangladesh really isolated from everyone else there. I always forget Indonesia and Malaysia are predominantly Muslim as well. But that's a huge chunk of the global planet there. A lot of Asia and Africa dominated. I love Somalia just kind of hanging on from the bottom as well. States with nuclear weapons. Oh my god. Russia and the USA have 5,000 nuclear weapons, which makes the UK's 225 nuclear weapons look good. No nuclear weapons are good. Let's all just put them in the bin. Very gently though, if, if possible. Etymology of state names in the US. Oh, it's another one of these. This is the origin of why every state is called what it is. Apparently Texas means friends. Well, that's cute, isn't it? Florida is like land of the flowers. Florida. Flowers. Makes sense. Apparently California is just a completely made up word. Dakota means ally. North and south there. That's perhaps a bit sad. Red people is an interesting one. People of the south. Okay. Great river is Mississippi. Louisiana is named after King Louis the... I can't read that. 14th maybe? New York is a New York. That makes sense. Washington's named after George Washington. Yep. Apparently Kentucky means at the field. Interesting. Iceland's most populated cities. 
since Iceland's not a particularly populated place. Their number one is obviously Reykjavik with 139,000, which is not many at all. And their next largest has just 39,000, and I cannot pronounce any of these names. Kopavogre, Mosfellbeer, Hafen... I'm gonna stop. I, I should not do this. <laughs> but yeah, very quiet. I would love to go to Iceland. I can hopefully go next year. Median wealth per adult. See, the trouble with median wealth is it makes the places look way richer than they actually are, because the average person in the UK does not earn 150k a year. The numbers just get massively inflated by the 1% of millionaires and billionaires at the top ruining everyone's average. UFO sightings by US state. Oh. America seem to go crazy for UFOs. They really kind of hold down the global UFO sightings. I would love to know culturally why these areas of the US see more supposed UFOs than the rest of the country. It's interesting that California doesn't follow the same line, but maybe it's because there's more cities so that there's too much light in the sky. I don't know. I want to see a UFO. And on that note, let's end off the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe. I would really like to get more subscribers than the population of Equatorial Guinea. And I'm a couple hundred thousand away. So let's beat Equatorial Guinea. All right, thanks. I'll see you later.